people tend to believe you can do uh, linear algebra operations only in high-level programming languages, like in Python. However, I want to show how to work with matrices quite easily with the help of the R math library inside of the microcontrollers. Once you learn them, they could be a powerful tool at your disposal uh, to solve various problems. This feature of the R math library makes your life easier because you can do complex matrix operations like um, multiplication, um, addition, uh, subtraction, and inversion of matrices by writing a few lines of code. Uh, before I showed how to implement uh, digital filters and uh, a fast Fourier transform using the R math library. So I'm not going to spend time on explaining how to install, how to include this library into your project. Instead, we stayed go to the point. So, um, so I want to show how to uh, multiply two uh, matrices uh, using the R math library. So here we have two, uh, two arrays that represent our matrices. So we have two dimensional arrays. So this array has this dimension three by four, and here we have four by two. And the first thing we need to do is to uh, define instances of matrices. Uh, instance is nothing but a struct where we define the dimensions of the matrix and, uh, and, the, and the address of the array that represents the, mat the matrix. And we have F32 because we are working with flow32 uh, data type. And, and to store the, the result of the multiplication, I created the corresponding um, array and instance. And what we need to do first, we have to initialize the instances. So here we have the pointer to the instance, then we have the dimensions, and the address of the uh, of the array. So I initialized three instances, and to multiply uh, these matrix matrices A and B, we just need to call a single function. So here we have a uh, matrix A and matrix B, and the, the result is the set is the third argument. And this uh, function returns a value that we can check to verify whether the multiplication is successful or not. If it is successful, I print all the elements of the, of the matrix using nested for loops. Otherwise, I just print the, this message. So let's run the code and see how it is going to work. So here we have these matrices, and if we run the code, we have this result as the multiplication of these two uh, matrices. So everything is working perfectly. Um, next thing, what I want to do, instead of A, B, I want to do multiplication B, A. So I just swap the, the, the matrices. And let's relaunch the code. So let me resume the code. And we got this message. So it means that something went wrong with the multiplication. And can you guess why it didn't work? And I believe you found the answer. The problem is that um, the, the, there is a fundamental rule in when multiplying matrices which is the number of columns of the first matrix has have to be has to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix but when we swap the matrices we basically violated this simple rule that's why it didn't work so in a similar fashion you can do other operations for example Instead of multiplication, let me search for inversion. So here we have the inversion, or for example, 
getting um, taking the transpose uh, of the matrix. So everything can be done easily by uh, calling a corresponding function. So this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you want to get uh, similar tutorials regularly, please subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to comment the video. And also, if you want to get um, the, the source code of all my projects and get updates and interesting insights, of course, you can join my community on, on Patreon and on my website. So thanks for watching again. See you soon.